Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 21st of 2024 is titled Seagull Nebula over Pinnacles Peak. So what do we see here? Well, here we see in the sky the rock formation in the foreground and what may look like a giant bird, red bird, rising above it. And that red bird is actually known as the Seagull Nebula. Now, the nebula, of course, is nowhere near this rock formation on Earth, but is well off in the distance, way beyond it, and in fact would be over 3,000 light years away. So we see it as we understand, not as it is today, but as it was 3,000 years ago. Now, what does that mean? Well, the nebulae don't change much in only 3,000 years. That's a very small time frame. So in reality, this nebula probably looks quite like it does today, although we won't know for three, over 3,000 years until the light that's leaving it right now gets to us. Now, this is an example of what we call an emission nebula. An emission nebula is caused by glowing gases. So in order for gases to glow, they have to be energized by high energy light. So what we see is if we have a glowing tube here on Earth with gas in it, we can then see that gas glowing with different colors. You can think of like a neon tube. However, ordinarily gas is transparent and we can see right through the gases in our atmosphere. It's only when they are energized like this that they glow. So much of the universe is filled with hydrogen gas, which is the most common element. And we see right through it. It doesn't stand out in any way. However, when it happens to be concentrated near hot stars that are emitting ultraviolet radiation, that ultraviolet light is then able to excite those atoms, and then they will then glow. Now, hydrogen has a very prominent emission in the red part of the spectrum, and that's why we see these emission nebulae as very red colored. Now, that's also because hydrogen is the most common element in the universe. So hydrogen makes up 90% of the atoms in the universe. So if you pick out any, any atom in the universe at random, you've got about a 90% chance that it will be hydrogen, and about a 10% chance that it will be helium, and everything else is just the little rounding errors in those tiny fractions of a percent of all of the other elements in the universe. So vast majority by number is hydrogen and that's why we see a lot of these nebulae in red color because they are hydrogen gas that is being excited by hot stars that have formed in that area. So that was our picture of the day for February 21st of 2024. It was titled Seagull Nebula over Pinnacles Peak. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.